It is important that people just go about their business and their normal processes in a calm manner. At this stage, we have a small number of cases that are controlled, and the community can be reassured that there's no reason to change normal behaviours. There's no reason to go and panic, buy, and do things that are unnecessary. The virus will eventually get here. It will be worldwide. We can't really avoid being infected at some point. Add a few things extra that you can stick in a box called Pandemic Stash. Don't panic! Buy! Ah, the psychology of panic. When we are told not to panic, what do we do? Well, of course we go out and panic. Shoppers are stripping shelves of essential items, at least in some parts of the country. One of my wife's acquaintances, a Chinese lady, bought 30 bottles of hand sanitizer, 50 kilograms of rice, and instant ramen noodles out the yin yang. Of course, other members of the local Chinese community are doing the same. I asked one of my wife's friends why she needs so much hand sanitizer, and she just said that if she doesn't buy it, somebody else will. Essentially, people aren't panic buying because of any fears of a virus outbreak. They're panic buying because other people are panic buying, and they don't want to miss out. I went to buy some soy milk the other day, but all of it was gone. I went and asked one of the staff members, and she just told me, yeah, it's funny, soy milk's been really popular today. I used to think I was the only one drinking it, but suddenly, because of the threat of a global pandemic, Everyone's become a soy milk connoisseur. To be fair to the supermarket, their shelves were restocked the next day, and I managed to pick myself up a couple of litres. However, they were still completely out of hand sanitizer, so I contemplated buying hundreds of litres of soy milk and using that instead. I mean, if everyone else can go crazy and panic, why can't I? I can see the headlines now. Panic buying reaches new level. Man bathes in soy milk. Of course, it's not just supermarket shoppers that are panicking. Investors seem to be following suit. Stock markets around the world are crashing. Investors are scared and don't know what else to do with their money. Do I invest in stocks, or should I buy more soy milk and hand sanitizer? The Reserve Bank of Australia is also in panic mode. It decided to slash interest rates to a record low of 0.5%. The US Federal Reserve have followed suit and slashed the US interest rate to just below 1.25%. The Australian Government are considering social distancing measures, which include cancelling mass sporting events and closing down schools or workplaces. There are also calls for people to stop shaking hands as a form of greeting and instead pat each other on the back. I actually stopped shaking people's hands about two weeks ago, as many of the students at work had recently travelled overseas. Not to mention that the university doctor is booked solid for the next two weeks due to the high number of sick people on campus. Actually, just this morning, I went to the supermarket to buy some toilet paper, and this is what I was met with. Empty shelves. Woolworths assures me that there'll be more coming in soon. Behavioural economist Dr David Savage suggests that what we are seeing in the supermarkets is not panic buying, but shock buying. It is happening in all parts of the world, including Australia, and they're not panic buying. What they're doing is trying to prepare themselves for the worst possible situation. The supply chain isn't actually capable to quickly adjust to these massive sorts of short-term shock buying events. This is why you see cleaned out shelves. The catch is that it actually prompts other people to think, oh, maybe I should be doing that too. And I think that's the key point. People are panic buying, or shock buying, or whatever you want to call it, because they see other people doing it. Just as if we saw a group of people running towards us in terror, we would probably start running too. It's a survival instinct. It's better to be safe than sorry. When we see empty shelves, we think, well, when the next lot of toilet paper comes in, I probably should buy as much as I can, otherwise I might miss out. Panic breeds panic, and unfortunately, it doesn't matter how many times the government tell us not to panic, the very action of them telling us not to probably means that we will. In other news, Thai police have raided a recycling factory that was ironing out used face masks and selling them as new. Schools are being ordered to cancel any overseas school trips due to outbreak fears. And the 2020 Tokyo Olympics will be going ahead. Virus be damned. I'll finish this video with one piece of advice if you haven't already worked it out. Don't panic. But because you're only human, I guess you won't listen to me, and are probably stuffing your trolley full of hand sanitizer, instant noodles, and toilet paper as we speak.